if we spent time with the people that are different than us, we would understand more. Um, but that time can't be spent sitting and staring at each other in angry silence. And it also yeah. can't be spent arguing and attacking and being defensive and accusing them. It has to be spent on the right form of communication so that we can try and understand each other's positions. And once we find that common ground through stories, then you have a whole new plane of existence where you're kind of then on a different level of appreciation and understanding and kindness and compassion, at which point you can then say, how do we work together to solve this problem? Um, Like that's why I say about wrinkles, because I love it. I'm like, so, so you're telling me that in my life, I will laugh so much that it permanently scars my face. That's cool. <laughs> like, to have had that much Classic. laughter that you have literally scarred your body. That's amazing. Yeah. You know, like that's something to be proud of. It's the same thing with um, mothers who have stretch marks and they're like, no, they're my tiger stripes that show i grew a child you know like that's amazing all of my favorite moments have come from what would have been my worst moments you know they've mm. come from disaster where mm. something's gone wrong or you know I've, I've crashed my bike and been badly injured or i've lost everything i've had everything i own stolen and i'm just like in the middle of a, some town somewhere with nothing um so you have that moment where for for a half an hour it's it's the worst day you've ever had and then it very quickly becomes the best day you've ever had because the whole community around you comes oh are you okay do you need hand and oh come and stay with me and let's let's sort you out and you can borrow this for now and and you just like so your faith is so restored yeah i've got my antique map collection which you can't see but i've got masks i've got this spears a lot a lot of people give me weapons i guess because i'm like a solo female traveler and <laughs> I, I stay in the jungle in, like, in Papua New Guinea. I was living with this tribe for a few months. And when I left, they just literally loaded me up with weapons. All the different people were like, you need these spears. Look after you yourself. Bows and, arrows. <laughs> and I was like covered from head to toe with shields and drums and, and wow. weapons and stuff. So um, I got some big machetes that, that scare people off. In terms of career and in terms of what I want to do and the impact that I want to have, it's about finding the stories that matter and telling uh, giving a voice to people whose voices are not being heard and um, allowing everybody else, other people in the Western world, um, in the UK and in the US where I've worked mostly, um, to have that same experience that I did because I see a lot of fear and a lot of, un, a lot of um, stereotype and assumptions and kind of, um, yeah, I guess barriers to understanding what else is out there adventure and adventure comes in so many different forms for me adventure is literally just doing something outside of your comfort zone it's it's about not being um settled on the sofa watching netflix it's about doing mm. something slightly bigger than that so um i'm a big fan of something called micro adventures um which is literally like after work on a friday you're going to drive 30 minutes out of the city with somebody's borrowed kayak or, or a, a borrowed tent and a sleeping bag and just sleep in a field and come back that's enough that's an adventure for some people that is wild people have never wild camped um that's kind of crazy i love the connection of uh, nature and, and psychology and mental health um and hmm. it, it's well documented it's not even it's not even new age hippie stuff that like no, exactly. for a walk <laughs> and spending time among the trees or the, on the beach um being grounded being earthed you know mm. um is is has a phenomenally powerful therapeutic healing effect and the fact that half hour walk on the beach can undo a week of stress in yeah. an office you know that's it's it's the most potent medicine we have um and it's underutilized um i was asked to make a film about illegal illegal logging in um in indonesia and sumatra and it was like the evil the the, the loggers and how do we stop these these bad people these these people that are cutting down the forest um and how terrible they are um and we need to protest and this kind of thing and i said oh, there's no way i'm making that film I, i'll go and meet the loggers definitely and i sat down with them and i said why are you cutting down trees? i mean i would never do that i couldn't i you could never convince me to cut down a tree because that's just wrong or to kill an animal because that's just morally wrong in my cultural moral upbringing mm. but he said 
my daughter has malaria and she is in the hospital and her malaria medications cost 50 US dollars. Hmm. I make two dollars a week. She'll be dead by the time I can pay for her medicines. If I cut down this mahogany, I get 75 US dollars. I have had some terrible experiences as a solo female traveler. I have had to leave hostels in the middle of the night because men are breaking into my room and trying to attack me. I've had to run down alleyways and down the street. I've had to leave my stuff behind. Um, I've had to escape some pretty horrific situations. And there are times that I have kind of gone, yeah, I probably that was a bit, that was pretty dangerous or I, I'm quite, kind of amazed that I survived that. Um, mm. So the two things that I think are important that people understand about plastic number one 99% of it is missing hmm. so of all the plastic that enters the ocean that we know comes from industrial waste from fishing industry from sewage outlets and from trash blown from the beach 99% um, of everything that enters the ocean we don't know where it goes it's not it's not mapped we have no idea we don't know which beaches it's ending up on we don't know if it's on the sea floor on the surface where it's going how long how it's moving wow. And how can you solve a problem that is 99% missing? Waking at dawn, packing the